It's been a hot minute, Rob. It's been a hot minute. It's been a while. Another We've video. Been busy. What do we got today? So we got a EB Falcon Fairmont gear, um, original paint. We've done all the measurements and it all checks out. Um, we're going to do a full uh, revamp, resto, whatever you want to call it. Some people get funny when you say restoration. Mm, yeah. But, um, we're going all out, pull the interior out, wheels off, scrubbing all the guard liners, engine bay, um, then start with a paint correction. Phil's going to pull, yeah, probably the seats out. Pull the seats out, out, yeah. Yep. Get the carpets looking as best as we uh, can. The, the window interior. tinters coming uh, to tint the windows because this customer's requested to have a, the windows tinted. He wants to go with that look. He likes that look. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to do whatever we can. Uh, buff up all the headlights, tail lights, probably this garnish. You come over here. Well, we're gonna, we'll bring all these back up. Yeah, they always fade. Um, Phil likes to play with that stuff. Yeah, stuff stuff. I'll, I'll tickle it. Um, all the lights, all this garnish, as best as we can. Look, it's got a few paint chips and touch-ups, but we're going to get it to the best it can be brought back to. Yeah, them. safely as well. Safely, so yeah. it's pretty. It's a pretty good base. So it'll, it'll come up, Mickey. Yeah, interiors are quite good. So this is the fair one interior. That scrub's gonna, the carpet's gonna have a bit of a scrub and love. Yeah, Here, carpet's kind of good. It'll come up a lot better, but these do tend to discolor over time because of the sun. Yeah. And whatnot, but that'll be a lot better as well. Yeah. Um, Paintwork's, yeah, Paintwork's got some go swirls in it. Yeah, sweet. I'll finish off this Tesla. We're just coating the wheels, all the plastics, I'll and then we'll... Um... Huh? You can't even option that now. Hmm? Pop puree in there, you put. <laughs> uh, man. All right, so finish this off. Start on this beast. Oh, yeah, I got a few of those. At home. Without without reading, I'll explain what this means just from pictures. Right? This is what wogs do when you can't read English. So you can use this car for business. So if you're a business type of person, it suits that. You if, you're going out on a, <laughs> if you're going out on a date or something like that, you're going to propose or you just want to show a woman that you drive a nice car, pick her up in this. It's a good family um, car. And it's a good family car. What's the last photo? Um, Gia. Gia. It's sort of royal. Royal. Oh, one more, one more. Um, if, you have, if you are buying a rug, we can also fit the rug in there. It looked funny from Marketing. the start, eh? Marketing's very uh, different now, eh? Yeah. What else have we got? Oh, colour chart. We got Monza Red there? Yes, we do. Uh, what other colour? Where's the white? No white. Alright, let's quit playing. that faded that you can't even see the swells so once we rejuvenate that color you'll probably start to see the swells eh Robert? Yep. Thank you Robert. What are you doing now? Hmm? I'm playing with tape. You're making art. Mask what, up. Why are you taping it for? Why don't you just send the polish all over the plastic? Isn't that, isn't that the way to do it? Yeah. 
That's just so white all over the you know plastic. Of, cut and polish. <laughs> <laughs> cut and buff. Cut and buff. If you're a detailer out there, do you hate when someone asks you that question? How many cars do you do a day, or how many cars do you yeah, clean a day or do a day? Yeah. I hate that question. Yeah. Because it just it shows you they sort of don't understand what you do. No. You know. Or you'll get someone saying, "Oh yeah, I used to be a detailer for such and such dealership or whatever. Um, I used to cut and polish, um, you know, five cars a day or six cars a day." That's I'm mad. Like, wow, that's pretty talented, man. Because I've been doing this for a long time and. I can't do five cars a day. You can maybe fight, wash five a day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can clean eight a day, yeah, five a day. So. Joys of the trade, mate. Oh, maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Nah, I reckon I all these cars you've done in the past 10 years and you're still <laughs> wrong, you've been doing it wrong, bud. Back bottom seat off. Off, and look at that, still got plastic. I have, I, I have never seen plastic. Wow. Huh, bombonieri. Very nice. Tints are all done, nice and blacked out. Looks a bit darker on camera than what it actually is, but. Um, now, this side's all shampooed. Looks brand new again. Seats done. Scrubbed, shampooed. Everything, back seat, floor mats. And then we've got. Roberto. Roberto. On the masking tapes. So what are, you, what are you doing exactly to this one? Um, so yesterday afternoon I spent some time just working out what combination works the best. Um, so with this we're going with a, a Rupes or Rupes um, blue wheel cut and um, their, their DA cutting compound. Highly recommend it. Uh, so it cuts really good, it finishes off uh, pretty decent. So then all we've got to do is go over with a, like a medium to fine pad just to refine it all. Um, so yeah, it's coming up really good. Gloss is coming up good. Um, getting rid of a lot of imperfections. Obviously the paint is old, so you know under the lights and that we can see where where the paint wears over time driving on highways and that's like it's sandblasting all your dirt little, little pit marks, the paint. You get little pity marks. Um, but it's actually pretty good. Like it's it's coming up a lot better than what our sprint did. Mm. Um, the thickness is there. Um, so yeah, we're going to get great results. Uh, time consuming, obviously. Um, but yeah, like Phil said, tint's done, engine bay's clean, you just Phil's gotta go and polish that up. Um, then we'll have to get into all the door jams by hand yeah. um, and polish them up a little bit as well. Yeah. So the goal is today, finish off the interior completely, yep. pull that seat out, shampoo that, scrub everything, get that nice. Guideline wheels, is it? Wheels off, yeah. yeah. Coat the wheels, clean all the guideliners up, make them look good again. Um, glass, yeah. so glass got water spotting. Yeah, so the glass does have water spotting. We'll see if we can pick that up, there you go. And that will need to be water spot removed and then polished and then we'll coat it at the end anyway. So, bit of work today. Let's get cracking. <laughs> It's 
you can just see it here. Colour difference. A bit brownie, nice and white. So we've put a pause on the EV Falcon. Um, Rob's in the background working on the Porsche GT4 that's just come in. We want to smash that out of the way before we continue on this because we have this for longer. Um, so I'll give you a quick look. Now you've heard a scene, door jams are all done. Still got to do the engine bay. Wheels are all coated. This side's yet to be done. Looking dull, looking tired. Come around this side. much shinier all the scratches are gone all the swells are gone it's coming up really good better than our sprint so you gotta finish this off that's gonna be sorry about the buffer that's gonna be buffed and coated as well it's just the exterior uh two stages on that we should have that done later this evening and then we can start back up on this probably finish this off tomorrow give or take but um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not really good. The guys are gonna be stoked. Look how good it looks in the sun. So besides the interior looking, the Mac. Look how good these door jams came out. Look at that. Most new cars not even that good, Robert. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Beautiful. So, um, where are we at? Uh, interior's done, like Phil said. Uh, engine bay's still got to finish off. i still got to paint correct door, guard, bonnet, front end. Phil's got to remove all the water spots from the glass. Yep, that's uh, a nice job. It. It's ready for coating. Boots are done. All the guard liners underneath is done. Wheels are coated. Uh, we've spent so far on it uh, 28. 32 hours yep. uh, combined between us. Um, yeah, it's hard work. But look, somebody's got to do it. Looking, it looks really good. looking crazy, looks really good. looking really good. Yeah. So it, it, it almost would have been done today, but we had to do the Porsche, the GT4. That was a correct and coat. Yeah. So we we thought that was only going to be like a single stage correction, but 
turns out. Chop it a little bit more. Like, yeah. It wasn't, there wasn't a lot of scratches, but the ones that were there were quite aggressive. Mm. Um, and yeah, it just bothered us too much. So we spent most of the day sorting that out. That's right. So down, we don't like stopping and starting jobs, but sometimes it's just got to be done. We like to just focus on one job till it's done, but it's all right. We've got this for the whole week. So at least that's out of the way. Does this bring back memories for anyone who uh, had one of these as a family car? Yeah, daily. When petrol used to be fifty cents a liter. Yeah, it's uh, filling up a tank for you know fifty, sixty dollars was a lot. Now huh, <laughs> it's got one hundred and sixty to fill it up easily. So, no. so, all right, let's get to it. All right, so engine bay is pretty cooked. No, okay, I won't say cooked, but it's pretty bad. Now. It's just discolored, very thin paint, starting to wear out. Now, I wanted to get in here with the buffer, but too many things that might rub off, too many edges that will catch the buffer, so it's going to be done by hand. God bless my fingers. How's your back? Good mate. Should be hunched by the afternoon. <laughs> neck my back everything hurts um, Rob's at the jump off to the dentist so I just finished up coating this thing it came out immaculate so the weather's bad outside at the moment we'll try to get it outside in the Sun tomorrow if it happens um, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around now it came amazing from what it was it's hard to tell on video it's being a white car but from what it was to what it is now is really really good it's only got 73,000 K, so it's not much for, you know, the age. But given how long it's been, you know, in storage or driven around or whatever it may be, it did cop a bit of abuse. But it's all, let me just show you, it's all pretty much repairable. So like, you know, long term, maybe front and rear bars would need to be painted. Um, just little sort of nicks like that, things like that. A um, bit of a scuff there. So ideally get those painted, um, a bit more PDR work, painless dent removal. Um, but man, like for its age, 
it's come out really good a nice new badge would really tidy up the exterior so I'll just give you a look of the bonnet in the lighting now if you remember back to what it was it was full of swells it was very oxidized and faded man it just it just shines now uh, bonnet protector has to go back on we'll do that tomorrow pretty much just let it cure don't touch it let it do its thing let the coating harden awesome 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 even the interior so the customer i'm pretty sure must have cleaned it himself at first because like the dash is just tidy as all i had to do was clean the air vents scrub a bit of the um steering wheel the shifter and then as you've seen before pull the seats out the carpet's really aired, that shampoo and the seats but man awesome condition and generally these things have sagging roof lining which this one seems to be sorry this one seems to be really good plastics are generally really brittle but again this one seems pretty sturdy these always fade that one's pretty good the demista has that one not bad not brand new but you can compare to others so yeah we'll um, hopefully get some shots for you guys tomorrow with a bit of sun fingers crossed but overall man what a survivor Familiar sounds. Not sounds as good, beautiful. Not mate. as good as the sprint, but yeah, it's close. It's got that nice crisp, you know, a car that will run forever. So have we told everyone how many K's this thing's got? Yeah, I did a bit of a video, but go over it. Okay, ahead of its time. Look, look at the gear. So the gear had this nice fluffy trim. Bad I don't know if I had that badge where they put that on. Door speakers, digital speedometer. 76,000 Ks on it. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna say, yeah, no way. It, it is because looking by the steering wheel, the carpet, um, the pedals, and us pulling the seats out, we know. Um, all these the, buttons. It's, even the door jams. Yeah, it's, it's true to what it says. Um, so yeah, interior is done. Fuel polished all the door jams. We've done the boots, the wheels, guard liners, undercarriage, engine bay. Uh, correction, we had to be very careful. Original paint, there was a lot of spots that were like super thin. Someone has buffed it before, um, and there was like just little corners where I could see it transparent. Um, so I had to be really careful with that. Um, and then also with this pinstriping, we were trying not to pull it off. So sort of had to tape it from here down to the top half, move the tape to the top, and then with a finishing uh, compound, just go over it all. Uh, we've spent a total of, I think, 44 and a half hours, yep. roughly. Um, so when we say that, that's what I do is get Philip's time and my time uh, and add it all together, and we normally write it all down. Um, so for instance, me just on correction, there's, uh, what have we got, 16, 17, 18, 9, 21, 22, 23, 24 and a half hours of correction. Um, that's obviously cleaning it with fuel, scrubbing all the guard liners and everything like that, and including uh, correction. Crazy, eh? But um, yeah, it's just good to see that, you know, we've sort of saved this car, um, didn't need a paint job, 
it just. I was it, saying previously, like the only thing you probably need is maybe the front rear bumpers. Yeah, you probably have to do bars and. If you want to go to that, it just depends mile, how far you want to go with it. It's yeah. still quite um. You know, it's still quite good. Oh, it looks, mate, it looks good. I'm happy with the results. Um, we managed to restore all these as well. These plastics are all pretty faded. Yeah. Um, these are normally painted and they're not black. It's like a, a gray color. Yeah. Um, so we brought them back up. Same with all these little rubbers here. And even our coating goes on all of this as well. So yeah. we coat all that, yeah. all this, the rubbers. Um, even this here. So we, we, I think we coated these three times just yeah. to get them consistent Very again. Very porous. Yeah. They're not by any means perfect, but yeah. a lot better than what they were. Yeah, we've saved it. We've saved it. Um, so look, I reckon with a couple of new badges, it'd top it off. Yeah. What we've done well. It's good original. Blinkers came up really good. Original bonnet protector. Still got the original glass here. You can probably just see the Ford logo there. Good to see. A lot of hours, a lot of love. Now, I don't know if it sounds weird, but like, when we do a car like this, I feel like we've become part of its part of its history or like a little bit of us gets left with yeah, it this way i think yeah you know what i mean just because like uh, oh no blood i didn't bleed on this one uh a bit of sweat no tears i didn't really cry. no tears but you know what i mean like we put so much effort yeah yeah uh, a lot of back pain body aches go into it um so i think that we just become a part of it like yeah. we're, we're part of its story um which is good i love it mad well, until the next one.